Why can't you tickle yourself? What makes some people incredibly ticklish, while others barely react? Scientists have finally solved the mystery of tickling, and the discoveries are transforming our understanding of the brain. In 2023, Dr. Michael Brecht's team at Humboldt University Berlin made a major discovery published in the journal Neuron. They found the brain's actual tickling command center. Specific neurons in a region called the periaqueductal gray that control both tickling responses and play behavior. When they used cutting-edge optogenetic technology to shut down these neurons in laboratory rats, something remarkable happened. The animals completely lost their ability to be tickled or engage in playful behavior. But here's where it gets fascinating, according to the latest research. What we call tickling is actually two completely different phenomena. Light tickling, that feathery sensation that makes you want to scratch, is essentially your body's sophisticated bug detection system, alerting you to potential insects or parasites on your skin. This type you can do to yourself, but deep tickling, the kind that makes you laugh uncontrollably, involves complex brain circuits and is fundamentally social. You literally cannot tickle yourself with this type. Why is self-tickling impossible? Your cerebellum acts like a prediction machine. When you move your own hand to touch yourself, your brain generates precise predictions about what you'll feel and cancels out the tickling sensation through neural inhibition. But when someone else tickles you, your brain can't predict their movements, so the full tickling response activates. It's like your brain's way of distinguishing between self and others. Individual differences in ticklishness come down to genetics, psychology, and even trust. Dr. Shin Chong Dong at Johns Hopkins University notes that people with denser nerve endings tend to be more sensitive. But amazingly, psychological factors matter just as much. You respond more strongly when tickled by people you trust, and anxiety completely shuts down tickling responses. This explains why the same physical stimulus can produce completely different reactions depending on who's doing the tickling. Want to control your ticklishness? Science has answers. You can reduce tickling sensitivity through systematic desensitization, gradual exposure in controlled settings, or try this technique from Dr. Constantina Kilteni's 2025 research, place your hand on the tickler's hand. This allows your brain to partially predict the sensations, reducing the tickling response by up to 90%. Your brain is essentially learning to override its own reflexes. From an evolutionary perspective, tickling serves crucial functions, according to University of Maryland researcher Dr. Robert Provine. It trains our defense reflexes for vulnerable body areas and facilitates social bonding between family members. Tickling-induced laughter is actually one of the first forms of communication between infants and caregivers. What seemed like simple child's play is actually a sophisticated neurological phenomenon that reveals fundamental truths about consciousness, social behavior, and how our brains work. Recent findings published in Science Advances show tickling research is opening new doors in neuroscience. For more on this story, find a link to the article on the number one science news site in the world, earth.com.